What's up everybody, OGP back with you for another video. Today is going to be an unboxing or really unpackaging day. They're not in boxes, they're in this packaging bubbly wrap stuff, but Zia Records, check it out. I've got four of them, all from Zia Records. I've had this list of movies that I've wanted to get for a while. I've been whittling it down, but finally I was like, you know what? tired of carrying around the list I just want to go look for movies find new things or maybe you know dive in and create a new list or something so I just kind of went ape shit and I ordered a bunch of the movies that were on my list some of the movies on that list I got from Kino some I got from Criterion some I got from Zia Records so were just random stuff uh, I think I might have also put an eBay and a Amazon order in for one of which. So let's dive into these bad boys and check out what Zia Records sent OGP. And of course it wasn't free. I'm not as special as like Web Movie One or some of those cool guys that get the free stuff. But here we go. Diving. In. Oh, that's cool. I wasn't sure, but there's like a little pull tabby thing here. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Two items in this one. Dun 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 dun. Right there, here we go. Oh, nice, nice. This is cool. This is cool. First item that I got here. Been on the list for a while. People have been talking about it. Mysterious Skin. Original Theatrical Director's Cut. Tartan Video Releasing. Joseph Gordon Levitz. See that? There he is. At age eight, Neil McCormick and Brian Lackey both played on the same youth baseball team in their town of Kansas. Now, 10 years later, two 18-year-old boys cannot be more different. Neil is a cold but charismatic teenage hustler, while Brian is a nervous introvert obsessed with the idea he has been abducted by a UFO. As these two parallel lives inevitably intersect, both boys begin to discover a shared past shrouded in mystery featuring blah 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 i have heard from several people that this was a good watch so i got it it's supposed to be i guess kind of uh kind of out there a little bit as we're going through these give me your thoughts down below let me know what you guys were uh thinking if you've seen these movies what what your thoughts about them are then i got and i understand go ahead give it to me Go ahead, as soon as you see it, go ahead and give it to me because I know you're going to want to do it. I enjoy the original version of this much better, but I still didn't mind this version. I did not hate this like some people did, and that is Old Boy, the American version with Josh Brolin, Elizabeth Olsen. Kidnapped and kept in solitary confinement for 20 years, the character played by Brolin, he's like, stuck in this room for 20 years uh suddenly been set free without a word of explanation obsessed with finding who's imprisoned him he wreaks havoc upon his captors unaware his freedom is part of a plan uh, of his true punishment that's about to begin it's a crazy crazy twisted story the original version the asia is it korean whatever it is i think it's korean is better but this was still not bad i did not own it so i was like you know what i'm just gonna grab a copy of this so go ahead have at it let me know in the comments how you hate that movie, and I'm nuts for getting them, uh, for getting it. Uh, this doesn't have how much I paid. I know I didn't pay too, too much for these. Moving on to package number two right here. But while I'm cutting this open, um, I did want to mention that I went halves on a P.O. box with Wet Movie 1. And so if you have movies or anything you want to send me to review, uh, my P.O. Box address is now down below. You do need to put in there, like, care of Wet Movie 1, uh, I believe. So they'll send it to that P.O. Box. I, I think you might need to do that. Um, but I did pay, like, the, the P.O. Box is like 200 bucks for a year. I gave Wet Movie 1 $100, and he kicked in the other 100 so um, we're splitting the P.O. box, but it's under his name because he went to the post office and did the legwork on it. So here we go, here we go, here we go. I got me the 4K Collector's Edition. 
Halloween. There's a little dent in the slip here, but I'm not mad. It's, it's used from Zia Records, so I got it for a great deal. I had to upgrade and finally get me a 4K copy of Halloween. I was kind of holding off on it. I thought maybe eventually we would get um, like a, a, a 4K box set, which we probably will at some point. I don't know if it'll include the new movies and the old movies or whatever, but uh, maybe we will at some point. And then, oops, I dropped this one. And I'm back. But if we do, then maybe I'll sell these and get the box set. But it just depends on how much the box set is and all that. That's it for that. The second item I got in here was this. I had bought a while back a copy of Pumpkinhead 2. And you can only find it on Blu-ray for like 100 bucks or more. Or on this four film pack of a DVD. And I didn't want to spend 100 bucks on it. I'm hoping that someday we'll get a franchise like box set of all four Pumpkinhead movies. I'm not holding my breath, but I'm hoping... But anyways, the copy that I had bought of Pumpkinhead 2 had scratches on eBay. So I complained, and uh, the guy ended up giving me a refund, but he wanted it back. So I had to mail it back to him. So that was fine. So anyways, I have purchased, I'm attempting attempt number two to get Pumpkinhead 2, which I've already watched. I just watched it recently. Uh, but to get a good, a good clean copy of Pumpkinhead 2, Zia usually is good about their... Uh, you know the disc even though this doesn't look that great here hopefully the disc is in good shape so we will open it up get the little Zia taggy out of there Leprechaun Pumpkinhead 2 moment of truth we are checking the back and it doesn't look good god dang it Zia Records what is up with this garbage look at that look at the crap they just sent me that's a bummer so I'm gonna have to complain to Zia Records about that that is horrible and here we go, moving on to the next package. And I don't remember, it's been a while since I opened, or since I ordered all these, but I can't even speak. So, I'll tell you a secret. It's 3.16 in the morning as I'm recording this. I just got back from seeing a secret screening of a movie in the greater Los Angeles area. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that. We, I went with Wet Movie 1 and I'm... I went with Wet Movie 1 and I. See, it's 3.16 in the morning. You have to forgive me. Wet Movie 1 and I went to this screening of a movie that doesn't come out for a long time still. It was one of those like early crowd testers. They were testing the movie to see uh, the reaction. It's cool because we are like the first people on the planet to see this movie, but it's going to be a long time before it comes out. I can't tell you anything else about it. I can't tell you the company. I can't tell you... The franchise, I can't tell you the genre, any of that, uh, as I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement. I can tell you it was a fun night, hanging out with Wet Movie 1, and then, uh, you know, after the show, we went over to the the Bob's Big Boy. You would see Jay Leno would go there a lot if you follow him, or like on the Tonight Show and stuff, but that Bob's Big Boy right there in Hollywood, we went there, met uh, Aaron, which is funny, because I've, I've known Aaron, like, you know, talked on, on the internet, been friends on Facebook and everything for a long, long time. Never, ever met him in person before tonight. So it was a lot of fun hanging out, you know, Bob's Big Boy having a burger and uh, shooting the shit. So, but anyways, yeah, it's now 3.18 in the morning because I've been rambling for two minutes about that. But, so I'm a little, like, uh, a little goo -doo, doo 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 right now. So forgive me for that. But here we go. We're diving into this package. And did I mention already that I got the P.O. Box <laughs> with uh, Wet Movie 1? If you mail me a movie to review... I will watch it. I will review it. I will put up a review on OGP's movie reviews, uh, unless there's something special, you know, going on, circumstance or something with it, uh, that would uh, get a review on this channel of some sort. But anyways, and, and unboxing and opening will always be on this channel. So we'll still, if you mail it here, you'll get uh, the, uh, the, you know, the publicity of me talking about unboxing the item you send me, and then also the other channel you get the video of me uh, watching said movie or whatever you mail me so anyways the p.o box is down below that information is all right there if you want to send me something it's now included in all those links i got like 50 million links it's one of them down there you can find it very easily so here we go we got a couple movies in this one let's see what the first is and again some of these are dvds just because it was hard to kind of find all of uh these items uh on blu-ray or 4k or something because they're just goofy situations or very expensive and i didn't want to pay 
For example, this one right here. This is a movie I had been wanting for a while. I watched it. I enjoyed it. It has some flaws. All in all, it was a very enjoyable movie. And that is Rare Exports, A Christmas Tale. It's a DVD, but I was like, for the cost to go from DVD to Blu-ray was uh, a big jump. I don't remember exactly, like I said, and now it's 3.20 in the morning. But uh, this was a good movie, but I feel like I'm okay watching it on DVD. And now I gotta, like after the last one, I really have to check the quality of the discs. But there we go, Rare Exports. And, oh, that disc is, it's a minty fresh. The disc is, is a minty fresh. And this was made in like, it's European, Finland, Sweden, something like that. Uh, about a little boy who uh, finds out like the true, you know, in the movie history of Santa Claus and that Santa Claus, the original Santa Claus was really evil and is coming back to go after kids. Uh, don't want to give too much more away about it because this is definitely a movie I recommend you guys check out. If you have not seen this, uh, I streamed it, I think Amazon, Hulu, Tubi, somewhere like that. Rare Exports. Highly recommend this movie. It's definitely one I want in my collection so I can watch every Christmas with the horror Christmas movies because it is a horror Christmas movie. So I got that. Then I got this guy right here and that is Flu. And this is another one that I would love to have had on Blu-ray. I don't necessarily know that I would need a 4K, but Flu, it says Death Goes Viral. It's directed by Kim Sung Soo. And I don't know if Kim Sung Soo is same director of uh, like Train to Busan or not, but this is a Korean film. Some of the actors you see in here are in Train to Busan and are in I Saw the Devil. So, and those two are epic, epic movies. This is a movie, if you watch this now, knowing what we just went through with the pandemic, this will possibly scare the shit out of you of what society could become like if the pandemic was a little bit worse because this is like they faced a pandemic and those governments went way overboard with trying to contain it and it was not cool this is a very entertaining movie especially now because of going through covid it's about people getting exposed to this virus and trying to save their lives while the government is willing to just use machine guns and mow people down that are infected. It's crazy. So flu, I highly, highly recommend this. If you like Train to Busan, if you like I Saw the Devil, you will enjoy this. Promise you that, promise you that. The final package right here. And boy, this is in a little rougher shape than I had hoped for. Cause this was an upgrade for me. And I thought that the little booklet looked cool. And this is The Big Lebowski. I did not have this particular version with the book here. I just had like the regular, in fact, it's just a DVD. But, um, you know, this is cool. The artwork and stuff, love it. It's like kind of dinged up and dented a little more uh, than it looked like on their ad there. So. That is a little frustrating. I've got more stuff coming in, so there'll be some more unboxing videos coming up soon. But uh, mainly, I just it was like, yeah, no, I'll open these. They came in the mail today. We'll check it out, talk about them real quick. If you guys have thoughts on any of those movies, let me know down below. Also, if there's any movies that uh, you recommend that I want to check, make sure to check out down below. There's a lot of options for ways to recommend movies. You can always just throw a title out there. I'll see if I can get to it. I'll do my best. Um, but there's ways for you to guarantee that I do uh, reviews on movies you want and that information is down below. Link is down below for the new P.O. Box. Very excited about that. Finally have that going on. And I thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up if you would. And again, I apologize. I'm kind of rambly. It's very late and uh, a little tired. It was a long day. It was a fun day checking out that movie. I wish I could tell you about it. I can't. One of these days uh, when it does come out, I can't even tell you the release date because I can't give anything about the movie. But when it is released, 
um, I'll talk about it. I'll talk about the experience. It was a lot of fun. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you all for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Hit the little button down below. And also, I'm really trying to grow the Instagram account that I got going on here. I had like a lot of those like sex bots or you know BS accounts follow me I wiped them out a while back so it's showing I only got like 300 some odd uh, followers but uh, there's a lot more of you guys out here than that and I think a lot of you use Instagram so it'd be really cool if you would go over to Instagram and give me a follow over there I don't just post stuff about my videos I post uh, you know pictures of where I'm at events things I got going on stuff like that so it'd be cool if you'd follow me over there and uh, oh yeah, and I, did, I was going to mention this, but I forgot to. The reason I'm wearing like the the button up shirt. I don't know when the last time I wore a collar was, but the reason I'm wearing a collar tonight is because of going to that premiere. I didn't know. Like, were were we going to see like executives? Were we going to see actors? I didn't know. Was it a comedy? Was it a serious movie? Was it a horror? I didn't know. It was a mystery screener until we got there and then when we were all sitting in our seats they told us what we were going to see it's like oh okay all right that's cool and uh, so like but like i said when it does come out down the road we'll talk about all that it was a lot of fun so anyways thank you very much for watching apologize for my rambling thumbs up see you next time Bye bye